My first guest is the self-proclaimed queen of mean. I love it. She's a Grammy-nominated comedian with one of the most controversial acts in comedy today. So, <laughs> she's so controversial that we can't even show you a clip because <laughs> it's too dirty for daytime. But trust me, there is no other. Give it up for the one, the only, Lisa Lampanelli. This is so weird. <laughs> I passed you in the hall. I know. She gave me the brush off. I, I know. I said hello, but I didn't say hello like you're a guest. I, I said know. hello. I thought you were a visitor. I was just, so I've I, never seen you in person. Well, I dealt with my pain. No. Look, okay. no, look, look. You are very, very, are you a fashionista? No, I am you, not. I have a stylist who charges me a lot of money and to look put, human yeah. and suck it in with Spanx. You know and what I'm talking about? everything together. Yes, right everything's down to put ring. together. And because I'm coming here with all these hot chocolate daddies in the audience. Oh, I know you like the black man. I have. They're so cute. Okay, you like an extra bit of volume in the back of your hair. Yes, I is do. Is that teased? Is that a piece? What do you have back there? This is there? teased, actually, with a lot of hairspray. Yeah. And, of course, these are all extensions. You black women, women have been doing it for years. So for can years. I see you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lisa, it's so great that you were nominated for a Grammy. I know. I can't believe it. A Grammy Award. And I didn't win. Do you believe that? I got totally ripped off. Who won? The Flight of the Concords, those two New Zealand freaks. Nobody cares. <laughs> they stink. I've seen their show on Oz, the, I, on HBO. The sex scenes in Oz were funnier, okay? Please. Where did you grow up? Connecticut. Do you believe it? With a mouth like that? I'm classy. <laughs> What part of Connecticut? Uh, Fairfield County. Okay, so right here in the New York Tri-State area. Okay, Bridgeport. Okay, oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's the hood, son. The, yes. <laughs> <laughs> get it right, get it tight. <laughs> did you grow up with both of your parents? And, yes, I did. And, and are they still around? Yes, they are, but uh, they what? come to see me only occasionally. I was going to ask My you father's that. 83. Yeah. He's on his last leg. Let's put it this way. Yeah. He can't survive an hour of my crap. So, <laughs> so... Yeah, you, you must be excited. You've got a show coming up, Radio City Musical. I know, Radio City Musical. Do you believe that? That's I cannot believe it. Is this your first time performing? Yes, yes it is. That's going to be sold this out. This is so exciting me? for me. I think I'll douche. <laughs> That's a good idea. I just did Carnegie Hall. It was so fabulous how the jokes about my vagina just ricocheted off those big ceilings. Oh, don't moan unless I'm doing you out there. Shut up. Well, look, but you are best known for your roast. Yes, the roast. I roast all these people on Comedy Central. It's crazy. And I, I, I really enjoyed um, the you were, Flavor Flav. Oh, my God. And, Flavor Flav. And, uh, and you were also at uh, Pam Anderson. Yes, of course. And, of course, the Flavor Flav was the best because, you know, he has a lot to make fun of. Yes, yes, play. yes. I mean, you guys only seen him through the screen. You think he's ugly there in person? <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, no. He looks like, right? oh, please, he looks like Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. <laughs> it's true. Backstage, he was walking around, he looked like beef jerky in a tracksuit. I'm like, what? what's going on? Ooh, that's good. The only reason to show up with that roast was that iced tea showed up. A rare hot chocolate on the way. Yes, okay? yes. He is so sexy, but he's a light-skinned brother. Yes. He's not really iced tea, he's decaf. Decaf. Yes. Was he with his wife, Coco? Yes, he was with Coco. Yeah. She has even bigger boobs than us put together. Yes, yes. Now, do you have do you have any plastic surgery? No, I do not. I'm about to, I just turned 47. I think I look fabulous. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, because my belief, actually, Wendy, is fake hair, real boobs. That's what I'm about. I like fake hair, fake boobs. Okay, that works for me. Too. Okay. okay. Work it, girl. Okay. <laughs> so recently, Lisa did um, Gene Simmons. So well, I didn't do Gene up. Simmons, well, thank God. <laughs> That's some kind of hair oh, he has. But he's hair ugly. Oh, my God. What did he do? Watch Planet of the Apes on cable and say, here's a look I can live yeah, with? That's some kind that of is hair. an ugly man. Oh, my God. No, he is ugly. Look at that face on him. Oh, my God. His face is more beat up than the students at that Oprah school in Africa. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, yes, she did. Let me tell you why I make fun of this Oprah. Oh. And I will tell you why, because she's getting to the point everybody's starting to hate her. And she really is. She doesn't help people no more. She just complains about her weight. I don't care if you're fat or thin. Like yourself the way you are. That's what I say. And I also say she's a fake because she says she gained weight because she has a thyroid problem. Yes, you got a Twinkie problem. Put that <laughs>
<laughs> Who didn't kiss with a mouth like that? I know. Claire Pinelli, do you, now, do you have a steady boyfriend? No, or? no, no. It is a very sad thing. I had a breakup. I dated a fine black man for three years. Okay. Yes, which is nine and a half years in black. And, um... <laughs> I can't. But I must. Uh, yes, go. Yes, well, no, here's the thing, though. I'm very, I love the chocolate daddies. I really do. I can't help it. Yeah. Because I got the big butt, you know, and we got to work it. Yes. Oh, it's fantastic. And I am so proud that there is a black man running for president. I'm so excited. I mean, honestly, every time I see him on TV, I want him to be elected. Because he says, I want change. Yes. I want change. I'm like, wow, what America needs, another black man asking us for change. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you should laugh, but you did. You laugh. <laughs> and who would you like to roast next? Oh, well, roasting next, it has to be somebody who doesn't take themselves too seriously. You know, you, you can't take a Tom Cruise or a Katie Holmes or an Oprah. You have to take somebody who's fun. I'll roast you if you want at some point. Wouldn't that be fun? There's a lot to roast. <laughs> there is. <laughs> Well, I think you're fabulous. No, I think Lisa. you look good. And you have the smallest waist in the business. No, my work is, my belt is doing a lot of the work. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah you too. know, why wear clothes if they're not going to work for you? These are specs, like, yes, right? Yes, absolutely, not regular and I have a nice corset on. Yes. You remember the old fat, look at all your people are 12. Oh, my oh, God. I know, I know, I know. And some of these girls, Jesus, so skinny. I picked, take a bigger dumps than this freaking broad. <laughs> Almighty. Keep it here. <laughs> we'll be back with more Lisa Lampanelli next.